hello guys welcome once again in this video i will show you how to use do while loop and do until loop with your visual basic windows form application so i have this basic form uh, made and i have this button which i have changed the text called while loop okay and i'm just double clicking this button to go into this button click event here i have declared a variable called x as integer and i have initialized it with a value of 1 okay so just this one line i have written and which declares a integer x which is initialized by 1 now for making a while loop we write do and while and here we write a condition so we can write do while x is less than 10 when you press enter here it will create a auto code completion here called loop and when you for example you want to print your integer in the message box so I'll write message box dot show and the value of x is and I will give the ampersand sign and x here so this code will uh, print x until and unless this condition is met and for example we need to give some other condition to increment or decrement or whatever you want to do with x in this case i am going to use x is equal to x plus 1 and now let's try and run the program so when I press this button the value of x initializes with 1 because our first value was 1 and then it increases 1 by 1 until and unless 10 is reached until and unless x is less than 10 right so this is do while loop and how it is different from for loop it's different in one respect only which is you don't know the number of iteration uh, your loop is going to uh, iterate and in the for loop you predefine the number of iteration right so that is the basic difference now there is uh, a do while not loop also so for example i will write do while not then it will give me or it will follow the opposite of this condition x is less than 10 right so it will follow the uh, this condition and it will keep on looping so for example i write x is greater than 10 then it will take x is less than 10 and it will work like previous code for example I run the code and it's initializing by 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so while when you give not condition here it will act opposite of this or reverse of the condition you have given there is one more condition or while loop you can make is do until loop okay so for example I write here do until and I give here the condition is equal to okay so this condition a will occur or this loop will keep on uh, iterating itself until and unless 
x reaches 10. So generally we use equal to sign with until and other condition with do while and do while not loop. Okay. So once again I run the program. It will say still do the same thing, but the only situation changed here is it's it's waiting for this condition to be true. Okay. So when you have some specific cases, then you will be able to understand uh, and use these conditions uh, in a better manner. This condition do until you can write like this also. So you can write while not. And it will still work like do until loop. So it's on you how you want to iterate your condition and how you want to use the loops and what is the situation dependent on what which you want to use it. So I hope you have understood the basic concept of do while, do until and do while not loop. I hope you have learned something new this time. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.